There's much more to Panama than the canal, but our journey would not be complete without a visit. We'll see it in operation and how it positioned the country as the crossroads of the world. And as the shortest land route between two oceans, merchants brought goods, food, and people, creating a diverse and beautiful nation. Plus, Caribbean influences, mixing and matching, highlighting a booming culinary capital with bold, fresh flavors. What do I know about Panama besides the canal? Zero, but I'm happy to find out. I'm here on a 24-hour layover. I've had no real expectations, and so far, so good. And Panama City is an easy introduction to what's great about this country. A vibrant metropolis where modern meets historic, offering stunning views, rich culture, and mouth-watering cuisine. Today, we're diving into some of its most iconic spots and savoring the local flavors. But first, we step back in time to the historic district, known as Casco Viejo. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a charming blend of colonial architecture, colorful facades, and lively plazas. Every corner tells a story, and the district's lively atmosphere is a testament to Panama's rich, defining heritage. For a taste of old world elegance, we head over to the Central Hotel Panama, located in the heart of Casco Viejo. This historic hotel offers luxurious accommodations with a nod to the city's colonial past. With its stunning rooftop views, it's the perfect place to taste tapas on a budget and trade stories with new friends. We ordered a classic savory sampler of fried yuca fritters stuffed with ground beef, chicken, and cheese, along with a couple of empanadas filled with chicken and beef, both topped with sweet pickled onions for a bright crunch. Next, we visit the ruins of Iglesia de la Compañía de Jesús, which simply translates to the Church of the Society of Jesus, a true symbol of resilience. I am told it was partially destroyed by a fire. However, this historic church stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of Panama. Walking through its remnants, you can almost hear the echoes of its storied past. Just a few steps away from here is the Cathedral Basilica Santa Maria la Antigua, another architectural masterpiece. This grand cathedral, with its ornate facade and intricate interiors, is a cornerstone of the city's spiritual and cultural life. Its beauty and serenity offers a moment of reflection amid the city's bustling energy. Next, we move to the financial district, the powerhouse of Panama's economy. With its impressive skyscrapers and busy streets, this district is the pulse of the city's financial and business activities. Here, the energy is a testament to Panama's growing influence in the global market. For a true taste of local street food, we head to Sabores de El Coillo at Balboa Port. This area is famous for its diverse and delicious food stalls, offering authentic Panamanian cuisine. I was told I must try the queen of the fish here, Katia. She's known for serving the freshest catch in the area. Behind the cramped concrete kitchen is the outdoor dining area, a local hotspot for lunch and an ideal spot to grab drinks and watch the sunset. With my lunch cooking and the tide out, I get the perfect chance to explore the bay. The scene of the fishing boats tossed across the muddy bottom feels like the best backdrop for our late lunch. For starters, I order a plate of fried octopus and calamari, crisp on the outside, tender on the inside, and paired with a homemade tartar sauce. Next is a fresh mixed seafood ceviche, marinated in zesty lime juice with crisp onions for a true fiesta in my mouth. My main dish is a whole fried snapper, served with coconut rice, patacones, and a pickled cucumber salad. If you've never tried patacones, they're smashed plantains, fried until golden and tender, a perfect substitution for french fries and a staple in Latin American cuisine. The fish has that crunchy exterior you expect, but inside it's beautifully moist. Truly a dish worth the recommendation. 
From the savory octopus to the fresh ceviche, this meal is a feast for the senses and an unforgettable experience. Leaving stuffed and satisfied, I am now told it's time for something sweet. This delightful gelateria serves up a rainbow of flavors. Banana, pistachio, coconut, strawberry, mango, and so much more. Perfect for a sweet treat. I'm getting a scoop of passion fruit. Creamy, refreshing, and bursting with fresh fruit flavor. But they also offer custards, cakes, and pies. With a gelato in hand, we set our sights on the fading sunset at a local marina, adding a touch of luxury to this perfect evening. They truly know how to celebrate the sweet life in Panama. As the night winds down, the night comes alive with the sound of live street music. Once again in Casco Viejo, you can find talented musicians filling the air with melodies that reflect the city's vibrant culture. Whether you join in the dancing or simply enjoy the rhythm, the music of Panama City is a celebration of life and community. After a long first day, I'm ready to head back to the room at the Golden Tower Las Americas, a beacon of luxury in the heart of Panama City. This architectural marvel reflects the city's modern flair and offers breathtaking views of the skyline. Whether you're here for business or pleasure, the tower's opulence and amenities set the stage for an unforgettable experience. Another beautiful day, it's time to indulge in Panama's culinary delights starting with a seafood feast at El Monero Restaurante in Mercado del Marisco. Here we're taking on a colossal five pound lobster. Look at it, stuffed with scallops, octopus, calamari, and shrimp that were first sauteed in butter and chopped garlic. Fresh from the sea, only a few feet away, this local delicacy is a must try for seafood and lobster lovers. What made this moment even better was sharing it with my wife. I don't think there's anyone else who loves lobster more than me. Delicious, flavorful, and absolutely massive. This lobster is a true Panamanian treat. Just a 10 minute walk from here leads me to downtown, where this city's vibrant energy truly comes alive. The best way to learn about local insights is to wander around, get lost on foot, soaking in the culture and everyday life. I pass by the Grand Presidential Palace, home to Panama's current leader, a striking reminder of the country's history and governance. As an outsider, these small discoveries make each step an adventure, revealing the charming moments that define this city. There's something special about exploring local markets. Vibrant stalls line the street, offering handmade crafts, hats, bags, wallets, and jewelry. The air hums with local chatter. The aroma of food fills the streets. The colors, the sounds, the liveliness, everything draws you in. While my wife shops, finding hidden gems at every stall, I take a moment to soak in the view. Sipping on this ice-cold coconut water, fresh from the trees, it's the perfect way to cool off underneath Panama's warm sun. And just when you think you've seen it all, the city surprises you with another culinary delight. A woman pushing a simple cart down the street, her face warm with a smile. She stops every few feet serving something that everyone seems to want. My culinary curiosity gets the better of me, and I decide to see what all the fuss is about. She scrapes the bottom of her aluminum pot with a large ladle, scooping out a generous helping of creamy rice pudding into a cup. She moves quickly, topping it with two dashes of cinnamon, a squeeze of malted powder, a drizzle of sweetened condensed milk. 
and a delicate garnish of rainbow sprinkles, a few raisins, and finally, tiny fruit-flavored marshmallows. But the real magic, it's not just the ingredients. It's the joy on everyone's face. Every bite feels like a sweet hug, and the generosity of the woman serving it makes it even more special. This is why I love street food. It's simple, it's humble, it brings people together. Next time you're wandering the streets of Panama, keep an eye out for the unexpected. You never know what you'll find as heartwarming as this. And of course, no visit to Panama City is complete without seeing the Panama Canal. One of the world's greatest engineering feats. This man-made wonder connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, revolutionizing global trade. Watching massive ships pass through the locks is a mesmerizing sight, showcasing the canal's crucial role in international shipping. To dive deeper into the canal's history, we visit the Panama Canal Museum. Here you'll find exhibits detailing the canal's construction, its impact, and its continuous evolution over the past century. From vintage photographs to interactive displays, the museum offers a comprehensive look at this monumental achievement. From modern marvels to historic treasures and culinary delights, Panama City offers a journey filled with wonder and excitement. Join us as we explore more of the world's most captivating destinations, Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for more travel adventures.